This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that The Tomorrow People is among the best TV series ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Elizabeth Adair played the character Elizabeth in the series when she was 25 in 1974. See, at the age of 74, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Newcastle upon Tyne, UK. To commit myself to opinions without being sure of the facts. John's life is at stake, perhaps not only his. We can't just sit here and do nothing. Very well. There are. You lose much? A week's wages, new bag, broke the heel off my shoe and ruined a pair of tights. And were you surprised to be attacked? Round here? You've got to be joking. Oh, you mean. Trevor Bannister played the character Colonel Masters in the series when he was 41 in 1975. Sadly, on April 14, 2011, he left us due to heart attack at 76 in Thames Didden, Surrey, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Now they really would be worth having. Well done, Trish. So Corston knew of their existence but wasn't going to... ...individual writer in the case of Are You Being Served, where you have two writers, mm. and the, the situation, the idea for the series, um, came from Jeremy. Nicholas Young played the character John in the series when he was 24 years old in 1973. See, at the age of 74, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in England. The greater the danger, seven hours is the absolute maximum he can stay alive. Tim, get online with the medical computer and find out which hospital he's in. Sean Scully, so I suppose you could say he was my inspiration. He's an Australian actor who I believe is still in one of those Australian soaps to this day. Right. <laughs> and I'm just about getting into it. Mike Holloway played the character Mike in the series when he was 14 in 1975. See, at the age of 63, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Essex, England. Hey, why? Some of those seams and passages in the rock are so narrow that only the children could work in them. But that is not the main reason. I am afraid that affection for one's children it's a great way to carry on that online, virtually. And I must say, you're looking very well, sir. Very well. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I do appreciate that. I'll send you the check. <laughs> Kevin Stoney played the character Steen in the series when he was 52 in 1973. Sadly, on January 22nd, 2008, he left us due to skin cancer at 87 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. They charged me officially. You'll need some proof, you know. I'm not charging you and I have all the proof I need. Almost all anyway. I'm merely warning you, you are working for galactic criminals. So I thought, well, I'll, um, I'll get a, um, a government grant and go to drama school. <clears throat> and I went to a... Peter Vaughan Clark played the character Stephen in the series when he was 16 in 1973. Sadly, on August 7, 2023, he left us due to an accident at 66 in England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Oh, I wish you didn't have to go. It's a complete waste of time. You have to go to school, Stephen, or you have the authorities after you. And we can't have you drawing attention to yourself. Yes, I know, I know. And uh, the tomorrow people were children. It was aimed at aim children. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, th I think that... Ray Burdis played the character Johnson in the series when he was 16 in 1974. See, at the age of 65, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, UK. It's supposed to be the change of weather on some distant planet. I'm keen on science fiction, you see. Oh, it's very good, Robert. I'm sure we could hang it up in the classroom if you wouldn't mind. No, fine. Correct, yeah. Uh, we had a good day, actually. You just missed. We had a <laughs> troupe of dancers in and it... Uh, Went down well. It's a good day, and we finished early, so yeah. we're not finished it. Philip Gilbert played the character Tim in the series when he was 42 in 1973. Sadly, on January 6, 2004, he left us due to an accident at 72 in Farnborough, Hampshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. 
very strongly about this, General, and I apologize for her abrupt manner. Nevertheless, we are here to implore you to end this war between the Sorsen and Thargan empires and restore peace to the galaxy. I would like now. Francis the Wolf played the character Jadikia in the series when he was 60 years old in 1973. Sadly, on April 18, 1984, he left us of a heart attack at 71 in Sussex, England, where he deeply saddened by his passing. He put her out into the land of Nod. Idiots! Hey? Don't you realize that this girl was one of them? Why was this complication not reported immediately? Well, it all happens. Christopher Chittle played the character Chris in the series when he was 26 in 1974. See, at 75, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Outer Shot, UK. How's my old van standing up to being a spaceship, Tim? Very well, Chris. They have found the astronaut. They are just getting him aboard the van now. Sammy Windmill played the character Carol in the series when she was 25 years old in 1973. See, at the age of 75, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here, in Bognorakis, UK. Nothing to worry about. You're quite safe. You're in a hospital, but you're all right. Michael Standing played the character Ginge in the series when he was 34 in 1973. See, at the age of 81, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here, in London, England. See, I don't want to sound as if I'm boast or anything, but uh, you happen to be in the presence of one of the world's leading experts on the Bible. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in The Tomorrow People? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.